All right. I got April's box. This may not be the video that you wanted, but it's the video you're getting because now that I've started opening them, I can't stop making these videos. Alright everybody, so I got April's box. I'm pretty excited about it. The art on the front is, of course, always fun. Here is the girl's full uh, Instagram. Um, so we're gonna open this today. Um, you know, I feel a little bit like I'm like opening Christmas presents right in front of everybody, but these are Christmas presents I paid for and then forgot that I bought. Anyway. Uh, it came during the weekend and may have gotten rained on, so let's hope nothing got wet inside, but we'll see. As always, this is a, a not a sponsored video because why would I be? Any hoozle. Ah. Oh, it's hiding. All right, so first we have the art. Ooh, birdies. They are just hitting all my favorites. I love birds. So this is Kyle Crosskopf. Kyle Crosskopf, again. Names, not my forte, apparently. So yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love birds. All right, don't look at what's in it. I wanna just, I wanna be surprised. Ooh, okay, so first of all, we got a accordion style, what? Accordion style notebook? <gasps> what? <gasps> what? Why? I've never had one of these. I've never, I have every type of sketchbook ever existing, but I've never had an accordion style sketchbook. So I'm pretty excited about this. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Now it's, there's way too much pressure. What am I gonna put on it? <gasps> okay. And then next we got. Oh. <gasps> My dreams have come true. Okay, so I saw someone making a video um, with these aqua ink thingies, and this is the one art supply I do not own. I know, you're like, you own them all. I do not own this, and I've just been thinking about getting them. I'm so excited. I do not know what to do. Anyway, so yeah, I saw um, uh, I Am A Wonder uses these, and I am so excited. I thought it was a heavy box. Oh my goodness, and we get more stuff. All right, so then we get a paintbrush, which I will definitely leave in the water overnight and ruin it in a day, because that is the way I roll. And then I've got a brush pen. Um, it is an alkaline, echoline brush pen. And then I've got a uh, pigment liner. So kind of an interesting pigment liner. It's the this has got like a really weird texture to it. I don't know if it's because it's a pigment liner that it's got kind of this funky texture. And then last but not least, we have something in its own bag. So I sense messiness. Um, extra fine watercolor stick. So that could be interesting, a watercolor stick. Primatech watercolor stick. I don't know, I've never used this before. This is gonna be so much fun, I've never used any of these supplies before. Ooh, there's one more thing. What is this? Okay, so of course, the adorable sticker. By the way, their stickers, 10 out of 10. I have been seeing their stickers are more like to the point and I like it, I like it a lot. Uh, stone ground paint, it's got a bee on it. Okay, I need my thingy. Don't cut yourself, too much caffeine, I'm all shaky. Don't cut towards your Oh, that was harder to open than the box itself. Anyway. Ooh, okay, so we have this pigment. And it's, uh, I bet it's watercolor. Why would that, why would I smell it? That doesn't make any sense. I did it again. Anyway, I'm gonna guess it's watercolor if I open it up. It's Hudson Bay Blue. And it looks like it's kind of got a metallic look to it. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so all in all, we have got hot color aqua inks. We've got a black watercolor stick. We have a liner. We have a pigment pen that's in yellow. And then we have this blue. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to try and make something using all of these. And that could be really tricky because honestly, I am kind of at a loss right now. I mean, flowers maybe? A dinosaur. I don't know. 
I have no idea. And I've never used this before, so I have, I literally, we are just, you're gonna watch me fail for about 45 minutes. That's how this entire video is gonna go. It's just gonna be a hot, hot mess. Any hoozle, I'm so excited. I didn't think there was any art supplies left that I could be given that I haven't already used, and watch, I'm gonna get addicted to these, and then I'm gonna buy a bunch of them, because, you know, all right, so I'm looking a little bit more at Kyle Crosscops, uh, Cops, Coughs. We're gonna call him Kyle. Do you mind if I call you Kyle? Anyway, I'm going to be uh, looking a little bit more at his Instagram um, to kind of get inspiration. I'll scroll them on the side here. So we're gonna see what we can do with the colors that we're given. I still, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I, the world is my oyster, and this honestly didn't, he did you didn't help, Kyle. You're too broad. Which is a good thing. Honestly, I like the, like it when people have got a variety of work. But my goodness, I have no idea what I am going to make with these. No clue. Okay, so after about an hour of trying to figure out what I was going to do, I finally landed on an octopus. I drew, drew it off screen because my sketching process is kind of a mess. And I washed it off with washi tape taped it off with washi tape. I went in first with the musters, as you can see it's pretty yellow, and then I started layering with the other colors, but it was around this point that I realized that I wasn't going to be able to build up the colors enough. Now I like how it builds on one another, I really love how this works, this is exactly how it was sold to me. However, when I started going in with the blues to try and bring up more colors, I realized I had to tap into another box in order to really get the colors I wanted, so I went into March's box to bring in the purples. By the way, if you ever use purples to shade, they will make your picture more lifelike than if you use browns and blacks and so I did end up using the black to shade in the very end and I used the blue to kind of create these really cool opaque lines I didn't want to just color in the background and I loved how it worked I'm finally done and it's tomorrow um, it took me quite a while to do this um, and I didn't use the accordion paper as you can see I used my Moleskine um, watercolor paper and I was able to use all the supplies um, I have a couple thoughts these so fun loved it I really want to get more colors, and I'll talk about colors in just a little bit, um, but I thought they were really great. Um, the pigment, pigment pen, loved it, super dark, really great, super smooth. I really enjoyed lining with this. I usually use too much black, and so using brown instead was kind of a, a fresh uh, thing. This one, I don't see much of a point in this box. I mean, if there were more colors, I feel like it'd be a great brush pen, but otherwise, like, it didn't do much for me. I didn't really find any purpose to it. Like you could do everything you could with this. It's the same, I, basically the same color. And so I don't really understand why that was essential in this. Brush, excellent. I did leave it in the water overnight because I don't like nice things apparently. But it doesn't seem to have bo been bothered by it at all. So, you know, luckily. Anyway, um, this guy also really liked it. In fact, I kind of wish I'd used it more before I started breaking into cheater supplies. And um, so yeah, I thought this was great. And I don't mind the fact that it was only in black. I think that just having a black one of these is totally fine. So again, um, it's a Primatec, uh, so like Gen Genuine. Uh, anyway, it's a watercolor stick. So good, really liked that. Um, and then, but then, and then this guy, I loved this. I used a lot of it actually. I did a ton of like different um, tester palettes. I see, saw what it looked like on black. I, I played a lot with this one and I want more colors. This is so fun and it's so opaque. I went over my octopus with it and it covered up everything. It was my last thing and the washi tape, it's blocked by really easily. So it just, it was a really fun thing to play with. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the cheater supply. So I had to tap into March's box because um, I didn't have enough colors. And so I thought if I had to cheat, I was just gonna use supplies from another sketch box. So I used the Spectras and the Copics from the last box to kind of add some details. So around like the, the tentacles and to kind of deepen it. Now I could have used the shader, just to, like the watercolor pen, uh, stick to just shade it in but that kind of makes oranges really muddy and kind of dead and lifeless where purple just kind of brings more life into it and so I wanted to use more purples for my shading as opposed to the um, the other ones. Also when I started shading with the red it made it look like it was bleeding and that was not the greatest. So now let's talk about the color palette. First of all these two colors they look like they're different colors. They are pretty much the same. Here is the swatches of them. So with a little bit of orange, this is the yellow. With no, with a completely clean one, these are the differences between them. This is the mustard and this is the yellow. I call it mustard even though it's 
Uh, something quinacrid the gold. I should just make a video of me saying horrible, horrible pronunciation. Quinacridon, quinacridon gold. Anyway, <laughs> they're the same color, so like it felt really pointless. And then the this, so I have three of the exact same color. So there's very little I can do. Oh my god! Gab gab gab. So there is very little I can do with these colors. Uh, so that was kind of unfortunate. So I wish, like, right now, this is technically red, this is yellow. Why not just put a blue in there? Make it a solid primary. I mean, I get the idea of trying to have, like, warm colors, then maybe, like, a purple or, like, a maroon or something darker, something with a little bit more, or brown, something with a little bit more, like, like, of a, like, saturation to it, just so I could, like, blend a little bit better with it because... Seriously, there was very little I could do with these three colors and I got as far as I possibly could I made up another color trying to like work with it I blended them as much as I could but I could not make very much work with those and this one didn't really blend with the rest of them It went over top of it, but it didn't seem to really like build any new color with it um, like red and blue usually make like some sort of purple this did not so I Have to say again like I said supplies 10 out of 10 Color palette, eee, not so great. So, let me want you know what you thought about this video. Are you gonna get a sketch box? Did you think this was a good sketch box? Do you want me to keep making these videos? You might not have a choice in it because they're way too much fun. Anyway, have a great day everybody, bye!